Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to give you an overview about a high traffic spike from Poland on my website and various websites that I manage in mid to late February. So here's an overview of how much traffic was from Poland in that time. So I did some research on how to locate this offending traffic and also how to block it and filter it in my analytics. I'm going to do more of an overview in this video, but I did write a more detailed blog post on my website. I'll post that link in the description. So in Google Analytics 4, let's find out where this offending traffic is coming from. First, go to Reports, Acquisition, Traffic Acquisition, and under Referral, you'll see a high number of referrals. Let's add a column for traffic source, session source, or medium. And now we can see this news.gretz.store referral. Now, please do not go to this website. It is a spam website, and it might harm your computer with malware. And next, let's do a search on who.is for gretz.store. And here we can see some IP addresses for that domain. And as we scroll down, we can see it's also coming from Moscow, Russia. So there are at least a few ways that we can block these IP addresses. I do want to note that there are concerns or repercussions that could come from blocking IP addresses. And you can do more research on that on your own. But on that blog post, if you scroll down, we can block the IP addresses in HD Access. And here's an example of denying one IP. Here's one for denying multiple IP addresses, which I've listed those four that I could locate from who.is. If you're using WordPress, a couple of plugins you may want to look into are WordFence. And this is also a great plugin in general for security. And one that I'm testing out now is called IQ Block Country. You will have to sign up for a MaxMind account even to get just a free database. Or if you want automatic updates, you can subscribe to them. I've got a little bit more information about blocking referral traffic. It can be quite extensive on all the steps, so I've listed some of the primary ones here. I hope this video helps you manage your data having to do with the attack and block potential future hits. If this video helped you out, please like the video and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Take care.